Hi, my name is Robert Rose. I'm the curator here at Miami Seaquarium, right here in Miami, Florida. Do we want animal liberation? Do we want it? No! Are we going to yell for it? Yes! Are we going to protest outside of the Seaquarium for it? Yes! We're out at Robert Rose's house today. It's August 9th. 45 years and a day after Lolita was brought to the Miami Seaquarium. And we've got a lot of people out here, a lot of new people. Uh, we were at the Seaquarium earlier today having a protest, probably 100 people, and we turned around 45 cars, kind of a significant number based on she's been here for 45 years in captivity. Stop the captivity, stop the pain! Robert Rose is super! And I'm participating in this beautiful protest merely because I think the world is filled with issues that need to be solved. And having a young individual like myself come to these places merely motivates the rest of the world and tries to have kids like me go in their neighborhood and make sure that the world becomes as good as it can possibly be. And there's no excuse for animal abuse. There can be no excuse for animal abuse. Robert Rose, there will never be an excuse for animal abuse. There can be no excuse for animal abuse. I'm here because we need to release Lolita from the Miami Seaquarium. I think 45 years of service to our community is enough. That's 45 years seven days a week, three to four times a day that she performs. She doesn't get to go home at the end of her performance. She doesn't go on vacations. She has no personal days. She works all the time. It's time to let her go. It's time to retire her. Whether it's a killer whale, whether it's a dolphin, um, you know, these animals have uh, the opportunity to potentially aggress, unfortunately. I mean, it's, it can be like the dog that you have at your home. I used to be friends with Robert Rose's kids, and we moved a little farther from his location, and uh, as I was walking here, I remembered what his profession was, and it's animal abuse, and I have a profound love for animals, and I'm here because I understand and sympathize with the creatures that are suffering from his horrible animal abuse, and that's particularly why I'm here. There can be no excuse for animal abuse. There will never be an excuse no. for animal abuse. There can be no excuse for animal abuse. She wasn't captured until she was four years old. She's been there 45 years making money for this man, for Robert Rose, the curator of the Miami Seaquarium. They lie, they tell you they live, just as long as captivity, they do not. I'd like to see proof of that. She's not only in captivity, but she's alone. We have a great plan. She's not gonna be thrown to sea. She's gonna be put in a secure sea pen. Well, she will be looked after by professionals, by marine biologists, by experts. If she cannot be released, so be it, but she will be in a beautiful cove with lots of space, not like that tank, that illegal tank. I have hope. I saw what happened after Cecil. I see people awakening to this. So let's work together. Let's be compassionate. Let's be humans. They have feelings just like we do. Let's set them free. The time has come. Today is a very somber day. It's 45 years um, since Lolita's been violently captured, ripped from her family. So we're here at the curator's home, Robert Rose's. Uh, he's been on media many times saying that she's not for sale and she's never going to be released from there. Um, we just left the protest from 12 to 2. We turned away 45 families today, which is an amazing number based on the fact that it's 45 years. We're confident that uh, if we keep up this pressure and uh, with everything else that's going on in all the other uh, groups that are out here trying to free Lolita and retire her, uh, we're hoping that we can get a positive thing out of this. And uh, we had a great home demo here and uh, we're gonna keep the pressure on every single week. Stop the captivity and the pain. Robert Rose is to Stop her suffering and her 
pay. Robert Rose is to play in the captivity and the pay. Robert Rose is to play. Stop her suffering and her pay. Robert Rose is to play. Stop her suffering and her pay. Robert Rose is to play. Stop their suffering and their pay. Robert Rose is to play. This is just biological hatred. And we are creatures of the world and we're treating others as if we're better than them, which is not true. We're all equal and we don't deserve to be acting as if we're up superior to them. And that's, it's cruelty. For Lolita we will fight. We know where you sleep at night because there's no excuse for animal abuse. There can be no excuse for animal abuse. Lolita needs to be released, rehabilitated, and released, retired. She's done this for 45 years, taken from her family. It's not right. I've been doing this for seven years, and I'm not ever going to stop. I'm not going to back down until Lolita's released and rehabilitated. Stop her suffering and her pain. Robert Rose is to play. I think it's time for us, for him to let her go. I mean, she's been, she was taken when she was four years old. It's like she hasn't even had a childhood. No one should have to be in captivity. It's just appalling to realize that 45 years, you know, it's a lot. So it's just hard to believe, you know. Little by little, we're making change. You can see it with SeaWorld stock going down 83%, and little by little, people are taking note. We're here to educate, because there's a lot of people out there that believe these SeaWorld commercials, but they find out, especially when they come out on Sundays from 12 to 2, when we're out there protesting, and they find out, and we're turning cars around. So little by little, we're making a difference. We'll be 